Okay. Time to build something new. Now, uh, I, I just recently ran into this picture here on Unsplash of this pug uh, wrapped in a rug. And I thought it would be the perfect thing to build a useless website around. Um, and yeah, I had a few ideas. So get rid of my bookmarks bar there. Uh, I think what I want to do is I want to kind of put it in the middle of the screen. Uh, I, I like this idea that you're honoring the pug by watching the pug. And then I think I'll do some canvas effects. Uh, the idea probably being that there'll be the pug in the center of the screen and then there'll be, you know, some kind of radiating glory uh, coming out the other side of it. Um, I'm not streaming this. I'm just going straight to YouTube just to see if I can get the quality a little bit better and uh, we can figure out the rest from there. Uh, so let's see how this goes. Now, I've, I've actually saved the pug already. I've uh, created a new folder with just the pug in it um, just to save the time of kind of photoshopping this boy. Uh, but let's make a website with it. And the first thing, as always, is a index.html. Uh, let's try and make this a little bit bigger. And this is my HTML. Save that. Uh, and a index.js. Um, we again we won't need a separate style sheet for this I don't think um, script source equals dot slash index dot js uh, yeah I don't think we'll need we'll need anything we'll need anything special for this let me open up this okay there's our markup um, yes so again uh, I want to use the canvas. Uh, I used this for the Mondrian, Mondrian uh, useless site as well. Uh, and yeah, it, it's good for kind of manipulating images around. Uh, so we can do const canvas equals document dot query selector canvas. And we can do const context equals canvas dot get context. Hopefully we have no more uh, sublime issues this episode. Uh, can canvas dot width width equals window dot inner width canvas dot height equals window dot inner height. Just kind of scaling uh, scaling the canvas. Script is included. We're going to need some styles, which we'll put in the head. Style, lifestyle. Uh, as always, I kind of want the body and the HTML to be margin zero. Those are just a default style that uh, exists on on the browser. So if we switch back now to this, and I inspect it, I get a very large canvas that takes up most of the screen. Again, this uh, let's. What is it? Max width 170. Max height 158BH. Yeah, I'm going to put those maxes on there as well so we don't see those scroll bars. Nice. Okay. If we can go straight into our JavaScript now, uh, we can tell it's working because the canvas got scaled nice and large. Uh, and First, we want to load in the image. Uh, so let's do const image, const image equals new image, uh, and image dot source equals dot slash assets slash pug dot png. I believe it's called. Yep. Um, and we want to draw it onto. We want to draw it onto the canvas. So we'll make a function for this. Uh, and the reason for that is if we're, the idea for radiating, I think is that we'll just draw more and more of them behind each other in like a, in like a loop. 
yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Context.draw, let's see if we can even get uh, this canvas on onto the screen. I think what we'll have to do is, uh, let's do like image dot on, on load equals Let's just check that, that 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 image even loads in the first place. Console. Yes, it does. Good, 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 good. Let's switch back to this. Okay, so context.drawImage. This is the canvas context uh, function to draw an image. First you pass it the image, which in our case is just image, and then you pass it an x, a y, uh, a width and a height. Let's just do 100, 100 and see if we can get it on there. Nice. I can't tell if that squeezed it or not, but it has drawn it on there, which is the main thing that I wanted. Um, we probably want to draw this pug in its specific dimensions. So I'm going to save these up here. Const pug dimensions equals. Uh, and how big is it? One, 1,060,975. Damn, it's big. I might divide those by a hundred, by 10. So it'll be like width equals 106. Height equals, what was that? 99, it's written down here. 975, uh, 97.5. So zero zero pug dimensions dot width 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 pug dimensions dot height and I'll switch back to this. It's drawn it pretty small. I guess that's ten times ten times smaller. So what happens if I do times two? Just to check. I just want to see that the pug can get bigger. Yes, it can. Good, 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 good. Now, to, to center it in, in the canvas, uh, it, it's kind of tricky because this draw image takes a X and a Y, and that will be the top left, top right. So it's almost like you need to minus half, you need to do half of the screen minus half of the width to put it back up into position, but there's kind of a nifty trick that you can do with the, with the canvas, uh, and it's called, tr it's a tr translate, so it's context.translate, uh, window dot, window width, uh, we probably should do it after we set the heights here, I think, uh, window dot inner width over two, window dot inner height over two, we probably should save these to variables, but won't do that for now. Uh, and what that does is it sets the drawing context into the center, if that makes any sense. Uh, so when I switch to this, yeah, you can you can sort of see that if this were the dimensions, uh, the, the primary point is flat bang in the center of the canvas there. Um, and that means that here I can sort of do uh, I could sort of do um, pug dimensions dot width over two negative pug, negative over two to kind of move it halfway l of the image size left and negative pug dimensions dot height over two. That's kind of like that. So now when I switch. More centered. I think a funny thing about the image is it's a little lopsided. Probably has some some dead space in the middle of it. Width height. Let's. Oh, it's because we scaled it. So because I had that scaling code still in there. So now when I switch, bam, nice and small, <laughs> and nice and centered. Beautiful. Okay, 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 okay. So I want to draw a bunch of these. 
Um, and I guess the way that we'll do that is we'll create a loop and that loop will do the drawing. So let's do function loop draw. And instead of calling draw here, we'll call loop draw. And let's say const looping pugs equals 30. It seems like a We'll see what it looks like. Uh, and we'll do for right, i equals zero. We'll do the old school loop. i is less than equal. Actually, we want to we want to go the other direction. We want to draw outward to the inward um, so that the, because they're going to be drawing on top of each other. So we'll, we'll go from this direction. So we'll do i equals looping pugs, i is greater than equal to zero, I guess, uh, i plus plus. This will get us to be able to, to loop in and we'll go draw. And then the other thing is we're going to want to change the size in this, in this draw function. So let's do like draw and we'll say, uh, I. So here I is going to be 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, going downward. Um, and this will get like, we'll call it offset. And we're going to want to use that offset to, to calculate. And let's also make another variable here, like const offset. No, let's just, let's just use that offset. Okay. So we want to use the offset and we need to add that into all of our dimensions. And it should just be a matter of doing minus offset over two, right? Minus offset over two. So it'll be up and to the right a tiny bit more and then plus offset. Okay, so that should technically draw 30 pugs. What I've done is I've made a nice infinite loop because I put plus plus there instead of minus minus. So I've, I've uh, looped that into oblivion. That, that tab is not going to recover, but this one will. Let me just get it out of here to sacrifice it. Uh, <laughs> so this has worked. You can see this kind of cascading effect that's happened on the pug. Um, the main reason, I guess, is that we've done 30, whoops, that we've done 30 uh, loops, but the loops are only one pixel offset. So let's, let's make a, uh, put it up here. Actually, I'll put this up here as well. A little bit more organized than some past weeks. Const uh, offset distance equals 70. So each one of these offsets will be multiplied by the offset distance. And here we'll just do i times offset distance. So now, oh my gosh, it's going to be better, better than I ever imagined. Man, 70 isn't enough, or 30 isn't enough because of the, the uneven size of the pug here. But oh my gosh, look at this effect. It's glorious, glorious. Um, hmm. Okay, so what do I need to do to get this scaled a little bit better? Ultimately, I kind of need to up this so it's larger in the center. That will solve one of the problems. Um, so 1060, let's divide it by five as well. What's 1060 divided by five? You went to um, put that in there. Maybe by three. Ten sixty divided by three. Uh, one five three. One 
five three, or two five three. And I'm gonna just use the actual calculator here. It's a bit faster. Whoop. Um, nine seventy five divided by three. Nice even number. Don't need that. So if I refresh, oh, it's larger in the center, that's for sure. It's a pretty good size. Should I go bigger? Let's just, I'm just going to do the math here so I don't have to do it on the screen. Kind of cheating. One point two. I'll 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 update these numbers to be hard coded so it doesn't have to do that. Uh, but there we go. That's good. Now if I change, let's change this to a hundred. I really want it to lap out onto the edge of the screen, but. Um, I guess what I'll do to do that then is change the looping pugs to 40. Yeah, that is cool. That is cool, that is cool, that is cool. So these are expanding outward until there's 40 of them on the screen. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger each time. I love this kind of freaky effect on the edges here. So. Next thing, what I, <laughs> it's so good. Uh, the next thing that I want to do is is make these move, um, and to make them move, we're going to use an animation frame, um, which is the browser's kind of tool for animation. So let's just say start drawing function start looping, and again we'll call on load we'll call start looping instead of loop draw and start looping is going to do request animation frame loop draw so that's going to request it only once so so theoretically we should just see exactly the same thing if I refresh yep uh, and then loop draw, after it's done all its drawing, we'll do request animation frame, loop draw on itself. So, you know, th this kind of cascading logic seems like it would be an infinite loop, but request animation frame uh, means that it tries to get that loop, which is infinite, essentially, it's going to continue running after itself, after itself, after itself, but it will say, hey, are you prepared to run this loop? Uh, unlike before, when I created that infinite loop where the browser essentially just said, run as fast as possible, as many times as possible. Uh, so you can't really see any difference here, but it is redrawing the pug over and over and over and over again, um, which is cool. Now, the only thing that we need to do now is, is make them ever so slightly change. So let's, what we'll do is we'll do const, uh, sorry, let current, current offset equals zero and we'll do plus current offset current offset plus plus oops so that's going to grow so this should essentially mean that the inner pugs will get further and further away oh my gosh could just do it so it just kind of comes straight into your face and you're eventually staring deep into its nose. It's a kind of funny thought. But after here you can't really tell what you're what you would be looking at what you would be looking at. Ah oh, such a cool effect. Such a cool effect. Uh, let's say if current offset is greater than what's it there? Offset distance greater than equal 
to offset distance, current offset equals zero. Yeah, yeah, I think you could probably just do current offset, let's see, current offset uh, mod equals offset distance. That might just reset it. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, I was a little ambitious there. I'm sure there's a way. Okay. Yeah, so you can sort of see how it resets there. This central one, we don't want to change. Whoops. Uh, the central one we don't want to change, so create equal to. How do I, how do I, create equal to one? And then I also just draw my final one myself with no offsets. I think I got an error there, yeah. I is not defined. Oh. Just off, just, just one. This, eh, let's see what this looks like. Oh yeah, oh, it's seamless. Seamless. I mean, that's that's what I'm going for. That's all I really want. Ah, oh, it's mesmerizing. Mesmerizing. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I was thinking, let's put something in there. I immediately thought of it. Uh, it's like a timer, you know. Div class equals timer. Uh, be, you have been honoring the pug for span. Uh, we can probably, yeah, I'll, I'll just count up in seconds. I could just do that. I could do the minute, hour stuff, but well, maybe I'll do that afterwards. I'll put this up on GitHub as I always do. Um, and so you'll be able to kind of see any future adjustments to that source. Uh, if you're looking at like the long doge of last week, you can sort of see how I added all the different stuff. Uh, class equals seconds. And we'll start with obviously zero seconds. And we're going to want to put position this dot timer position fixed uh, bottom 50 pixels, left 50%, transform, translate, translate x. Negative fifty percent, so this will center it in the center. Font family. Mono space is sort of my go-to until I kind of find nicer fonts, uh, just because it sits sits relatively simple. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, let's do a little bit of extra. I mean, it's almost perfect. Let's do a little bit of extra styling on this. I like to do the styling in the uh, editor here. Background, RGBA, 255, 255, 255, 0 0.5. Like a nice white, padding, 20px. Border radius, 50%, nope, 20, 20%, 20px. Yeah, just something nice and simple like that. I put it at the top. Mm. No, bottom. We'll do like max width. Let's just 
straight up color width with blue, way bigger than that. Text align center. Okay, I want to copy this in. Copy this into the code. And what else did I change? I'm just going to copy all of this. I'll probably change how this looks, but I, I just kind of want it. No, maybe not. Let's see. Put that back there. Uh, the main thing now is to make the timer run. So let's say const uh, start time equals uh, create. How, how does this work? New date. So, so the animation frame, the request animation frame function, uh, it passes a delta, I believe. Maybe it doesn't. I always thought that it would say how long it's been, but what I can do is I can just create a date like this. Uh, and that will be like this, the start of, of when this happens. I, th I don't think it's new date. I think it's just date dot now. And that's the function. Let me just try that in the browser console uh, a equals date dot now a yes okay yeah so what I'll do is I'll just do date dot now at the start and then uh, as I go through uh, every animation frame I'll just do another date dot now and then I'll minus the difference between the two and that will give us a good second count of pug honorment Uh, I want to also save that element. Uh, it's called dot seconds. So let's say const seconds. Yeah, if uh, anyone's seen this, uh, they could perhaps update that. Or I think I'll probably just do it. Anyway, if you, if you see the site and that's not done, uh, that's definitely something open could be doing. Uh, document.query select of seconds. Request animation frame. Here's the main loop. Uh, I'll do it here after the draw. So if you like const new time equals date dot now minus what did I call that variable? Start time. Start time. And that'll give us a time in milliseconds. And I'll just have to divide that by a thousand. Seconds count dot inner text equals new time. Let's see how that goes. Oh, it's in micro. I mean, it works. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, round that number. Here. Math dot floor. Round it down to just whole seconds. That's it. I, mean, I could probably do some resize logic here, but I don't think it's that necessary. You've been honoring the pug for five seconds. I mean, at this point, I'm the person who's been honoring the pug the longest, which is nice. Um, all right, I mean, I think that's that. Let's put it on a site, uh, as always. Domains.google. I mean, is pug in a rug? Is pug in a rug? In a rug. Taken? It's not. Pug in a rug is not taken. I mean, pug in a rug. I guess I shouldn't really debate on this one, huh? Pug in a rug, snug pug in a rug could be cool. But I think just pug in a rug. Honor the pug in a rug. No, just pug in a rug. 
Maybe I set two wrong. Yeah. All right. I'm going to buy this one um, and switch to just me on my checkout. Another week, another domain. I'm paying for this for the rest of my life. It's a hug and a rug if something like that. Pretty happy to pay for, for the rest of my life. I think. Bye. Okay. While that's registering, uh, let's put it up on GitHub. GitHub.com slash new. Plug in a rug. What I'll have to do is probably reduce that image size as well uh, because it's relatively large and I don't want to pay for tons of bandwidth. Honor the pug in a rug. Public create repository. Um, these are, this is the code to add it. Let me get my terminal open. Again, I haven't fixed these styles. Git init, uh, git add dot, git commit, plug in a rug. Uh, and then I just wanna push this up to GitHub, oops. The piece three command, plug in a rug here. I always am scared that I've, I've mistyped if I refresh, yep, it's on GitHub. Uh, and then we want to go to Netlify. Again, I'm going to host this up online. Let me log in. New site from Git. GitHub. Authorized. Rug. Plug in a rug. No special build commands because, again, we're straight up deploying from a raw site. You sort of see me do this every week really, so it's not that special, but there it is sitting online already, as we know, on Keel Perl Keen Perlman on Netlify. And then the main thing is uh, setting up the domain, add a custom domain. Plug in a rug.com. Verify. Yes, at domain. Verify DNS. Uh, yes, check the DNS configuration. Set up Netlify DNS. Verify. Yes, at domain. Uh, don't add new records. Copy these DNS records into my. Google domain DNS. What? Oops. Two. Three. Four. Save. Change name settings anyway. Set them. Let me refresh. Hey, there it is. Hugginarug.com. Perfect. As always, I want to. Yeah, this will take a little bit to verify, as always, but uh, that's all I'm looking for. And then I'll provision the certificate. Um, otherwise, uh, that's Pug in a Rug, I guess. Uh, let's see how this upload goes this time. Um, thanks for tuning in. Always a pleasure. Um, I've got a bunch of great ideas uh, that I was thinking of doing in future weeks, um, but they kind of require a little bit of work, the same way that this required kind of setting up the initial pug. Damn, that's mesmerizing. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll 
yeah, I mean, let's just build something every week. So much fun. All right. See ya.